Welcome. In this video, we're going to show you a little bit about the workspace in Photoshop. Now, the first thing I want you to understand is that there's a lot of stuff going on in Photoshop. There are so many tools and there's a million different ways to do anything. So, what we want to do is kind of just get your bearings in this situation. Now, when you open up Photoshop, you don't have any documents open, okay? If you were to open up a document, there's a whole bunch of ways to do that. And you might see it here in the middle. But what I want to do is focus on what's not in the middle because that's what is there to help you get the job done. On the left side, you have your toolbar. Uh, the toolbar has different categories of tools. The first few here, uh, these ones right here, are related to selecting and creating selections when you hover over any of these you're going to see the name of the tool and then you might see a shortcut key which is L. Uh, these allow you to navigate between these tools quickly. Below that you're going to see the cropping tool and the color picker tool and then as you go into this area these are all drawing and manipulation tools. So you have uh, the spot healing brush which fixes things like uh, issues uh, you know with skin or or you know can get rid of uh, power lines in a picture you have your brush tool uh, paints and clone stamp and I don't know if you also notice there's little arrows under each of these these arrows mean that there are other tools within this tool so any tool that has an arrow down in the corner means you can click and hold with your mouse and you'll see all these other tools inside it when you switch to one of those the icon changes all right, so I'm going to switch back to the brush tool and stay on that. Below here we have uh, gradient, eraser, uh, the blur tool, the dodge tool. Then down here we have some vector tools. These vector tools are there for drawing uh, vector graphics, which we'll get into in a later unit. Uh, then below that is navigation tools. These things allow you to uh, rotate 3D objects, uh, move around the page, zoom in, zoom out. Then you have your foreground and background color and this will reset it. For example, if I click this black here, it's going to bring up my color picker. I can change it to red, click OK, and you can see that there it is. This one here will switch the foreground and background. So now red is the background color, white is the foreground color. And then this one here resets it back to black and white. Down here is the quick mask mode button, and uh, in general, we don't ever touch it. I mean, it can be used, but there's other ways to create masks later on. So that's your toolbar. Now, what I want you to also notice is that we have an application bar here at the top. The application bar has a link to Bridge, a link to the mini bridge, which will open up Bridge in a little window. So you see here's the mini bridge and I can actually move that to different places on the screen but this will take me to uh, files like I'm in bridge without actually going to bridge All right. then you have uh, viewing things like grids, guides and rulers uh, your current zoom percentage will be there laying out windows so you can have one picture here in the middle but if you're working on a bunch of them you can lay them out in any different number of ways then here is the screen mode which allows you to go into a few different modes when you go into these different modes it will switch to full screen uh, and you won't see the taskbar at the bottom you can navigate through them by using that menu or by choosing to just press the F key when you press the F key it will cycle through different modes um, now I'm just gonna leave it in this mode right now uh, over here on the right you have some workspace that are saved. These workspaces, uh, Essentials, Design, Painting, and there's a few more here, uh, will help you to have the panels open that you need for your particular job. We'll also create a custom workspace for ourselves in just a few moments. CS Live is something about uh, Photoshop CS5, but it is no longer used uh, in CS6 or the Creative Cloud. Below that is your standard uh, you know, application stuff, the file, edit, image. These all have drop-down menus, and a lot of the functions of panels are actually inside these menus. 
Some of the menus have uh, shortcut keys, meaning you can jump straight to that shortcut. Uh, some of the menus have things like uh, dots next to them, meaning that when you click it, it will come up with a another window where you can do more stuff, whereas the ones that don't have anything next to them or maybe a shortcut uh, without the dots, see these have the dots, but if you do like crop, for example, it'll just automatically crop or it'll do the auto tone. It's a just do it fix feature. The um, next thing is the tool uh, settings here. And these tool settings uh, are often called the options bar. And basically, it's all associated with whatever tool you're currently on. If I'm on the lasso tool, it changes to the lasso tool. There are presets available. And uh, if I change to the brush tool, it'll have sets available for the brush tool. So depending on which tool you're currently working on, you will have a different set of items in the options bar. Over here on the right are some panels. And uh, we have a lot of panels open right now. We have a layers, uh, adjustments, and colors. Some of the panels have extra ones inside of each other. Okay, uh, These can also collapse by clicking this little double arrow here. You can also squish them in down to icons. You see how you can pull them out further. You can um, also do this with the tab key. Tab key makes them all disappear. And you notice my tools over here went away too. So tab key makes everything disappear for a second. So if everything's gone, it's like, ah! Well, just hit the tab key. It'll come back. Uh, panels are really cool. They can be um, taken out so I can drag this out and have my layers by itself right I can dock the layers panel next to something else or maybe underneath something else and then make it fly out there's all sorts of different ways you can do it and whatever the situation is for your workspace you can change the workspace later the easiest way to reset your workspace and that's what I'm going to do here because I've totally messed up my essentials workspace is to go up to this double arrow and I'm gonna say reset essentials now there's a few things I want to open up inside my essentials and then resave it to a new workspace just for me and what I want to do is I want to have the layers open and I want to probably have the adjustments I think I want to have the adjustments maybe over here so they pop out like that when I need them and I'm so I like the layers expanded I'm just double clicking them to make them expand or contract then I am going to add a few things so if there's ever a time where you're in a video and you're missing something that I'm clicking on like there's a button here and you're like I don't have that button well every single panel is going to be under the windows so for example I want to have the brush panel open over here I like having the brush panel open I like having the character panel open the character panel sometimes takes a while to open up but that brings up uh, things about your characters. Um, let's see, any other... Sometimes, well, when I'm working hard, I tend to put in actions, okay? that That's something I do. I, we don't really get into actions much now, but later on, uh, there's a whole bunch of actions. So this is a pretty good set of tools to have set up. So let's say I really like the way this workspace looks. I think this is just fantastic. What I can do is create my own workspace. And I want you to follow along and make your own workspace. So I'm going to say new workspace. So double arrow at the top, click new workspace. And I'm going to call it, let's see here, gem panels. All right? You can call it what you want. And I'm going to say keyboard shortcuts and menus. Are going to be saved so then I click save and now I've got a gems panels gym panels up here so I can switch to gym panels or switch to something else so I switch to painting you see it's got different tools if I switch to gym panels everything's back how it was you can also reset gym if you ever screw it up so this is a good way to set up your workspace and what I want you to do is just see if you can get it set up like mine and if you think there's something else you might need you're welcome to save it as well and that's it for this video